All right, Shalom. Welcome back to the channel. I am Jonathan, the Code Searcher, and uh, we've got a lot to talk about today, you guys. Um, <laughs> I've been trying to get this recorded for the past couple of hours, but I've been inundated with phone calls and emails. So finally, that slowed down and I'm able to, to get on this. I wanted to post this today, but it looks like it's going to be uh, for you uh, Saturday morning. So, um, yeah. So what I got for you is the Kamala as president, but also the um, Biden is removed table that I found early on. <clears throat> this was, you know, maybe before and after the election. And if you guys recall, if you've been with me that long, you recall that uh, my assessment at that time was I didn't feel like Biden would be in very long and then he would resign and, you know, Kamala would take over. Well, that didn't happen. Right. And that's the one thing I need to, you know, the caveat we need to establish right here. Um, we're, we're not making predictions in this. Sometimes I'm wrong. Uh, not all the time. Um, I think I have a better than average, um, you know, when it comes to these kind of things in my analysis. And that's what it comes down to, because these codes are about probability, what's probable. So, it, it you know, we can look at some of these things with logic. Um and well, we're going to talk about that. Um, you know, the the logical possible outcomes on there because there's only a couple, right? And so we're going to go down each one of those paths and see which one is more probable. But before we get into the the tables I got for you, I got a couple of news clips that I want to play that I think are significant um, in this whole thing. And I hope uh, I can do this without getting in trouble with Fox News. Um, Maybe I should just play the sound, um, but I'm going to just play a little bit of this that just come out um, a couple hours ago. Uh, maybe I should change the uh, playback speed. That might help me out. All right. So let's listen to uh, what's said here. Just for a minute. Now is House Majority Leader and Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise. Uh, Leader, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, good morning, Maria. Great to be with you. I know the whole membership was uh, looking forward to you coming back. I want to get your reaction to what you saw yesterday in Texas. Well, you saw very different contrasts. Uh, you saw photo op by President Biden. He created this mess. Everybody recognizes that. He came in day one, remember, ended the Remain in Mexico protocols that President Trump had in place that were negotiated between our two countries that were working to stop illegals from coming in. Joe Biden mandated catch and release. So if you come in, even if you were caught by our Border Patrol agents, you were released into the country, we don't even know where they're going. Governors don't even know. If a busload of 50 people or a plane uh, full of illegals show up in a state, the governor or the mayor doesn't even know about that. Uh, so Joe Biden created this mess. And then you have Donald Trump showed up at Eagle Pass with Governor Abbott, which, by the way, when Joe Biden says he wants to solve this problem, ask him this question, why is Joe Biden suing the governor of Texas right now? When Abbott put up the razor wire to at least try to stop the flow of illegals coming in to the state of Texas, right now Joe Biden's in court to take the razor wire down because Joe Biden wants more illegals coming into the country. And he won't work with us in the House. We Why could he possibly want more illegals to come into this country, you guys? Could it, could it be that they may play a role in this next up, up, upcoming election? Well, um, I think you might see something with Kamala Harris in this other report um, that I discovered where she's the head of a, a council or a committee for the right to vote, right? Who's right? Uh, we're going to look at that in just a minute. We passed a bill to actually stop the flow of illegals. Joe Biden issued a veto threat on that bill. Joe Biden wants open borders. Donald Trump secured the border, and he will secure it again when he's president. Uh, but our country shouldn't have to wait until January to solve this problem, because as you pointed out, with Lake and Riley, with other examples, unfortunately, every week people are dying because of illegals coming into our country who have horrible criminal backgrounds and want to do people harm and are doing people harm in America. Yeah, I mean, Congressman, maybe, but it's if President Trump becomes president again, right? It's if, because I'm reading a story this morning from uh, The Listen. Federalist, and it's called Nine Ways the Feds Are Using Biden Bucks to Rig the 2024 Election. And it goes... You heard it there first, all right? I'm not going to go any further on that one. Uh, so let me just stop share, and then we'll go right into uh, the other one with... Um, Kamala holding a round table discussion. This was just released two days ago, you guys. She's been very active, by the way. 
the past several months. Principles about democracy, the importance of all people being able to express their voice in every way. All people to be able to express their voice and their voting right, right? Listen, Vice President Kamala Harris holds a freedom to vote task force round table discussion. Hey guys, I don't know if you, if you can see very clearly on that picture, but look at the people that are there with her. She's got the squad there, right? Uh, what's her name there? Rashid, I don't know where AOC is, but I'm sure she's in the room somewhere. She's got the squad with her, right? Including through their vote. Uh, there's so much about our work that we do together that really is grounded in also, I think, a common belief in the importance of self-determination and the connection between that and the right that people have to be able to express their civic duty um, in every way, including through their ability, unfettered ability to vote. So I want to thank you all. Uh, we have often discussed that voting is a fundamental freedom that unlocks all the other freedoms. And um, last month, many of us. It is so ironic um, that she's doing this, you guys. And I'm, I'm going to use the word shenanigans when, when I'm referring to the shenanigans that happened the last time around, because, you know, I can get deemed for things that I say on here. So I'm going to be very careful not to, not to do that. Again, this is my analysis of what is probable, what is possible to take place in the coming months. You guys, as you heard in the Fox report there, she said, if Trump is elected again, right? So there is no guarantee. And I got to tell you, he's a juggernaut. He's a juggernaut right now because of the alternative. But the way they're portraying Biden is that he's competent. I mean, he is going around right now. He's on late night TV, very scripted and very controlled. Um, you're going to see an interesting word in his table um, that, that I think will help us understand what we're seeing, right? Is he going to last? Is he going to last to the election? Or if they're able to, through the shenanigans, get back in there how long will he last what's the alternative you see where we're going on this it all, all roads go back to kamala in, in in this that's where it leads so there's a couple of possibilities with her there there could be a this window that he he resigns before the nomination before the election i think they're going to try to push him through until that, they got to hold him up like uh, Weekend at Bernie's. Remember that movie, <laughs> right? Even if they got to do that, I think that's what they're going to do because he is he is the puppet that that it appears that, that in the charade that he is greater than the other guy, right? A lot of shenanigans. So it's really interesting that she's doing this roundtable discussion on protecting the freedom to vote, and we know who who's. Freedom to vote, she's talking about, right? She also talks a lot about irregularities in the, in the previous elections and um, rogue states trying to influence and hack systems and things like that. And, you know, and they're trying to plug all those holes. I'm very sure. I'm very sure they're doing that. That's that's exactly what they're doing. Got together in, in the state of Georgia to address the threats to that sacred freedom. And so today, address the threats in Georgia. Can I just say Georgia may be that that place again that was, you know, it was significant in this last election. It may be that same place again in this one. We'll see. Today we gather to lay out a four part strategy to protect the freedom to vote. The first part is the work that the president and I have done to charge every federal agency to do all they can to make sure that every American has the information that they need to know how they can vote when they are um, eligible. And so I can now announce. When they're eligible. Mm, okay, so I'm going to leave a link to this down in the bottom. I don't want to play too much of it. I know some of you kind of might be cringing a little bit. Um, let's transition over to um, 
the tables here. Guys, you got to got to stay tuned. Got to stay. We got a lot of stuff to go through. Okay, I'm going to be reading a lot of scriptures and and share many details on it. And I want you to give me your assessment down in the in the discussion below, you guys. All right. All right. Let's just segue right over to it, you guys. So this is what I have for you. In in the uh, Biden is removed is the access term um, that flows up this way. Now we got a lot to cover. Um, in this so so be patient with me you guys there's there's several verses that i want to read don't need that but biden is removed flowing upwards and then if, if you look at that bet right there we're going to just get right into it all right this bet right here is an interesting word that that flows frontwards and backwards because it's a palindrome you guys know what a palindrome is it's when you can read a word frontwards and backwards with the same letters. It says the same thing. That's a palindrome. Okay. So we have the puppet as a palindrome on the bet in the, the name Biden. Okay. So that's really um, an interesting anomaly there. Right next to that, we have the word dementia. Dementia in the blue. That's no, that's no secret, right? Um, we also have the word charade, the charade, because I think that's what this has been. Um, uh, this person right here, who, who is Obama, is really, you know, I've said this before. Um, we are in the uh, Biden 3.0 with with uh, Trump. I mean, uh, with Biden. Obama 3.0 with Biden right now. That's what we have and if we move into what it looks like it's going to be obama 4.0 um i think you know where i'm going with that right let's look a little further at this we also have the eclipse that runs right through his name so it is significant whatever happens with this i believe the eclipse series that we're about to see and by the way it's not just a a, a solar eclipse as everybody's talking about april 8th what about the lunar, the blood moon that's going to be seen um, in all of North America, all in Canada, some out to the Pacific here, all of South America? We'll see that. It's it's going to be very prevalent on, on that side of the world. So a blood moon, March 25th, 24th, something like that. That's coming up first, right? We do have blood moon at the top right here. Iraq Dome, right there. So we have a, an eclipse and a blood moon in the same table. In the blue, right next to his name, or excuse me, uh, will be removed, is Gog and Magog, all in one line. You can see there, starting with the with the uh, the Gimel going down to the Gimel's Gog, but then you add the letter Mem to it, and you got Gog and Magog, right there. All right. Um, Joining with that at, a, at an angle here um, is fallen, nephiloti, which is an abacus effect. And in running in the other direction, will fall. And, uh, you know, this could be him physically falling. He's known to be a person that falls all the time. But it also could be talking about um, his downfall, right? Um, this is, I don't know what this means here, call me which is whose voice is asking a question, whose voice will fall or is falling. Uh, I, I don't know what that means. Kamala's name is here in the yellow running up this way. Um, that's really interesting. We also have uh, America in the blue running in this direction. And look at where the hay stops right there. And this vertical anomaly is the, the year. Right. That's it. That's pretty amazing where America and the year come together that, you know, when we're going to see this eclipse um, and possibly. Well, I, you know, I don't know when the resignation is going to come. I do believe it will come. There, there's a couple of possibilities. It could be before the election. However, I think they're going to try to push him all the way through to the election and then hand it off like like a football to Kamala. Um that's kind of how I see it going down. Again, this is my analysis. I'm not saying thus say it, you know, 
the Lord or, or God is telling me this, right? I, I believe the Holy Spirit is leading me in, in, you know, some of these findings, but in my analysis to it, because it does take, a, you know, somewhat of your own discernment to interpret what, what we're seeing. A lot of prayer goes behind it too, right? And then logic, just logically looking at what, what the possible outcomes could be. We know that they don't want Trump in there, and they're going to try to stop him in every way, even go to the bottom of the barrel and do the do the unthinkable. You saw on the last table, right? Or they're going to pull some shenanigans. And the next thing you know, we got the next worst president we've ever had, because I, I, I really believe that Biden has done a lot of damage um, to the credibility of this country, Right even to the point where our enemies may want to come in and intervene and save the American people from its corrupt government, right? Where have we seen that before? America does that all the time, right? What if they turn the tables? What if what if a coalition of the willing got together, right? Anytime you got a bully on the playground, at some point, some of those kids are going to band together and go after the bully, right? I'm just saying, you guys, um, that's how this could play down, uh, play out. Um, let's look at it a little further. Now, now, some people were, especially after the last video and, and the previous ones I did on the eclipse, a lot of people were asking about the rapture. Many of you know my my thoughts on the rapture and my my perception of when that timing is, and so it may differ from you know some of you guys that are evangelical and are pre-tribbers but the word does appear here and in the other uh table that we're going to look at we see the word here rapture and it's also over here so yes it is in here but is it going to happen the way you think i don't you know i don't want to get into that debate you got that the divides and it's not a salvation issue the the, the thing is we're going to be gathered together with him at some point, pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib, it really doesn't matter, okay? So let's not fight about it, all right? Let's get further into this. Um, the same word we saw in Trump's table, the mitzvahim, which is a, a quorum or a legislature, is, is right here, right with the name, again, Obama, appearing in this table. We do have the word melchema. War appearing one time uh, in this table. And then, of course, we've got several verses that are highlighted that I want to get into. And I don't want to run out of time before um, I got to get this done because I got a class right after this. So I've, I've got to kind of get through this pretty quickly. Bear with me, you guys. Let's start with the top up here and um, read some of these verses that's really like a banner going across here i find it really interesting that these particular prophets cluster in this way and they seem to be saying something so let's listen to what what the prophets say the very first one we're going to be in is joel second chapter we're going to start from from the top and just read through it i think you'll get a picture of something Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm on my in my holy mountain. Let the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yah cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, and, and a strong, there hath not been like ever like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations." A fire devour before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is like the land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them is a, is a desolate, desolate wasteland, a wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as, as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Right? Is, are we talking about the four horsemen? Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains, shall they leap, and a, a, like the noise of a flame. Uh, of a fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people set in a battle array and before their face 
the people shall be much pain. All the faces shall gather blackness, and they shall run like a mighty man, uh, like mighty men, and they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. What does that sound? It sounds like an invasion, right? Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk everyone in his in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Super soldiers, maybe? I don't know. They shall run to and fro in the city, and they shall run upon the wall, and shall climb upon the houses, and they shall enter into the in, at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them, and the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be what? Dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. Okay, we're going to see an eclipse. And Yahuwah shall utter his voice before many army, but before his army, for his camp is very great. And he is strong that executed his word. For the day of Yah is a great and terrible, is great and, and very terrible. Who can abide it? Therefore also now saith Yah, turn even unto me with all of your heart and with fasting and weeping, and mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto Yah your Elohim, for he is gracious, and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth of him of the evil, right, so when we see these signs, Nineveh, 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 right, what, what happened at Nineveh, he wanted repentance, we see the same pattern here, in the scripture, running for the prophet here, Declaring the same thing, right? It is not his will that, that he should perish. Who knoweth if he will repent, return and repent, and leaving a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto uh, Yah your Elohim. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, and gather the children and, and those that, that suck the breast, and let the bridegroom go forth from his chamber. And the bride out of her closet. There you go with some of the rapture people right there. There's an there's an in, there's an uh, implication here. Let the priests and the ministers of Yah weep between the porch and the altar, and let them that say, "Spare thy people, O Yah, and give not an, thine inheritance to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them." Wherefore should they say among the people, "Where is thy Elohim?" And will and and then will Yah be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Elohim will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied where there within. And I will make no more, I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen, but I will remove far off from you the northern army, and I will drive them into a land barren and desolate. And with his face toward the sea and his hinder part toward the uttermost sea. And his stink shall come up and it shall and his ill savor shall come up because they have done great things. Fear not, O land, and be glad and rejoice for Yah will do great things. Be not afraid. Ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine do year their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in Yah your Elohim. For he giveth you the former rain moderately, and he would cause it to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, and the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of Yah your Elohim, that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. All right, so that's where we're going to stop that one and then read on. I want to go to the next one, you guys. Hang with me, please hang with me, because we see another reference to the great and terrible day in Amos. So that was Joel. Now we're in Amos five, uh, chapter 5. I want to read from the top, get the context here. 
hear ye this word which I take up against you, even lamentations, O house of Israel, the virgin of Israel has fallen, and she shall rise, no, uh, no more rise. She has forsaken upon her land, and there is none to rise her up. For thus saith the Adonai Elohim, the city that went out by the thousand shall be, shall leave an a hundred, and that which went forth by a hundred shall leave ten to the house of Israel. For thus saith Yah unto the house of Israel, seek ye me that ye shall live. But seek not Bethel, nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not into Beersheba, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come into naught. Seek ye the Adonai, and ye shall live, lest he break out like a fire in the house of Joseph, and devour it, and there shall be none to quench it in Bethel. Ye who turn judgment to wormwood, and leave off righteousness in the earth, Seek him that make the seven stars of Orion and Orion and turneth the shadow of death into the morning and maketh day dark with night and calleth out of the waters of the sea that poureth them out upon the face of the earth. Yah is his name. And I, I do believe this was a, a verse we've seen before in one of the eclipse tables, right? That strengthened the spoil against the strong and so that the spoil shall come against the fortress. And they hate him that rebuked in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly, for as much as your treading is upon the, the poor, and ye take him, you take from him the burdens of wheat, and ye have built houses of huge stone, hewn stone, but ye will not dwell in them, and ye have planted pleasant vineyards, but ye shall not drink wine of them. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins, that they have afflict the just. And they take a bribe, and they turn aside the poor at, in the gate from their sight. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Adonai, the Elohim of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. And it may be that the Adonai, Elohim of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, we're talking about Joseph, not, not Judah. Okay, there's a difference. Therefore, the Adonai of Elohim of hosts, the Adonai said thus, wailing shall be in the streets. And they shall uh, say in the, all the hallways, alas, alas. And they shall call the husbandmen to mourning. And such are as... Skillful, the lamentations of the wailing. And all and in all vineyards shall be wailing. For I will pass through thee, saith uh, the Adonai. Woe unto you that desire the day of, of Yah, which is right here. That's the day of reckoning, you God. That's judgment day. For, for what in is it to you? The day of Yah is darkness, not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear did meet him or went into the house and he leaned on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of Yah be darkness and not light? Every and, and even very dark and no brightness in it. I hate and I despise your feast day. He says your feast days, not his now. Okay. The Christian believers and alike have integrated these other pagan festivals into belief. So he says, your feast days, not his. He, he loves his feast days. And he says, they're a memorial forever. But he's telling the people here, I despise your feast days. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings in your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beast. Right? And so this also could be talking to people who are on the wrong calendar, right? If you look at when this uh, lunar eclipse and when the solar eclipse, these, these will coincide with feast days, right? Around the feast season. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. 
but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness 40 years, O house of Israel? But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Molech and cheer on your images and the star of your God, which ye made for yourselves, right? The idol worshipers. Therefore, I will cause you to go into captivity among Dam beyond Damascus, said Yah, whose name is the Elohim of hosts. All right, let's go to the next one. Trying to get through this quickly as I can. This is Jonah. How interesting is this, right? Because Nineveh running through in the in the solar eclipse. Here we got um, reference to Jonah and Nineveh. So second chapter, let's look what that says. And now that Yah hath appeared, and now Yah hath prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. And Jonah prayed unto the Adonai, his Elohim, out of the fish belly. And he said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto Yah, and he heard me. And out of the belly of hell I cried, and thou heardest my voice. But thou hast cast me up, cast me into deep in the midst of the seas, and the flood uh, compassed me about, and thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, and I will look again toward thy holy temple. And the waters compassed me about, even to the soul, and depth closed me around about, and the weeds were wrapped around my head. And I went to the bottoms of the mountains, and the earth and her bars uh, was about for me, about me forever. Yet hath thou brought up my life from corruption, O my, O Adonai, my Elohim. Then, uh, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Elohim, and my prayer came unto thee and thine holy temple. That they that deserve, they that observe lying vanities, forsake their own mercy. But I will, I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving, and I will pray that I have uh, what I have vowed. Salvation is of Yah. Right? And then you see what happened. The fish spit him out. He's at Nineveh, right? He was being disobedient and trying to run from, from Elohim for doing his job, and <laughs> Yah wasn't having it. Swallowed him up in the fish. He repented. Y'all spit him out on the land of Nineveh, and he did his job, right? Okay, so the next one we're going is Micah. Micah's the next one. Chapter 7. I want to try to get through this kind of quickly. Woe is unto me, woe is to me, for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits as the great gleanings of the vintage, and there is no cluster to eat. My soul desired the first ripe fruit. Uh, the good man is perished out of the land, and there is none upright among men. They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net, and they do and that they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince asked and the judge asked for a reward or a bribe. And the great man, he uttered his mischievous desire. And so they wrap it up. The best of them as a briar and the most upright is sharper than a thorny hedge. In the day of thy watchman and thy visitation cometh. Now shall, now shall be their perplexity. Trust ye not in a friend, but put... And put not and put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom, for a son dishonoreth dishonor, for a son dishonoreth the father. The, the daughter rise up against the mother, and the daughter in law against the mother in law. And a man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore, I will look unto Yah, and I will wait for my. Uh, Elohim of my salvation. My Elohim will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. And when I sit in darkness, the Adonai will be my, uh, the light unto me. 
I will bear the indignation of Yah because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and ex execute judgment for me. He will bring uh, me forth unto light and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord? Uh, where is the, uh, the Adonai, the Elohim. Therefore, mine, mine eye shall behold her. And now she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And in the days, and in the day that thy walls are built, and in the day that uh, shall be the decree far removed, and in the day that shall come even to thee from Assyria, from fortified cities, and from the fort and from the fortress even to the river and from sea to sea and from mountain to mountain notwithstanding the land to be desolate because of them that dwell in for the fruit of their doings feed thy people with thy rod and the flock with thine heritage which dwells which dwells solidarily in the wood in the midst of Carmel, Carmel and let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as if the days of old According to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, I will show, will I show unto him marvelous works, excuse me, marvelous things. And the nations shall see and be confounded, confounded all in their might. And they shall lay their hand upon their mouth and their ears shall be deaf and shall lick the dust like serpents, like a serpent and shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth and shall be afraid of Adonai Elohim. And fear because of thee, who is who is a God like unto thee, that pardoneth iniquity and passeth the transgression of the remnant of his heritage, that retain not the anger forever, because he delights in mercy. He will turn again and will have compassion upon you, and he will sub subdue our iniquities, and thou will cast all the sins into the depths of the sea. Right, and I'm going to just stop on on that one because we got still a lot to get through and I don't have that let's see what it says in Zephaniah here where the blood moon is look at that the great day of Yah is near that's chapter one of Zephaniah the word of, of Yah came unto the Zephaniah the son of Cushi the son of uh, Gedaliah the son of uh, Amariah and the son of Hezekiah in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, the king of Judah. I will utterly consume all things off the land, saith Yah. I will consume man and beast and consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. I will cut off man from the land, saith Yah. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from his place. In the name of the Shermarines with the priests. And them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetop. And them that worship and swear by Yah and swear by Malcolm. And them that turn back from Yah and those that have not sought, sought the Adonai. Nor inquired of him. Hold thy peace in the presence of Yah for the day of Yahuwah is at hand. For the day he hath prepared a sacrifice. And he hath bid his guest, and it shall come to pass in the day of Yah's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and such are cl uh, clothed with strange apparel. We saw this one also in the eclipse table. You guys, the same, very same one. In the same day, I will punish those that, that leap upon the threshold and fill their master's house with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yah, that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate again the sign in the heaven is going through uh, pisces and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills how ye inhabitants of maktesh for all the merchant people are cut down and all that the, they that bear silver are cut off and it shall come to pass at that time that i will stretch that i will stretch excuse me search jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lees that say in their heart that Yahuwah will not do good, neither will he do evil. 
Look at that. It is a day of, of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wastes, des desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess. The same thing, right? So we're seeing all these prophets clustered where we can see this happening. So let's move on down, you guys, because i got to get through this. We may not even get to Kamala's table in this. I may have to, to uh, make that at another table. Uh, excuse me, another video. Um, let's come down to Psalms here and what I got highlighted there. Psalm 57, 2 and 3. Be merciful unto me, O Elohim. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusted in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities overpass. I will cry unto Elohim the Most High, unto Elohim that performeth all things from, for me. And he shall send from heaven and save me. Right? He will send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Elohim shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Let's, let's keep going. I want to I want to get right here to uh, where the date is connecting to America and read that uh, segment. And then um, we're going to conclude this one. This is in Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12, verse 2. While the sun and the light, or the light, or the moon, or the stars, be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, and the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Also they, uh, when they be afraid of that, of that which is high, and the fears shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden. Well, is there something about locust? Um in this uh this eclipse season right didn't paul bailey say something about that the grasshopper shall be a burden and desire shall fall because man goeth to his long home and the mourners go about the in uh, the, the streets all right and then right under that is here i believe this is daniel chapter 12 Starting with verse 7. And I heard the man clothed in linen. He was upon the waters of the river. And when he held up his right hand and his, and his left hand to heaven, and he swore by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time and a times and a half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, and all these things shall be finished. And I heard, but I understood not. And then I said, Oh, my Elohim, what shall be the end of these? things and he said go thy way daniel for the words are closed up and sealed till the end of till the time of the end that's now many shall be purified and made white and tried but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand and from the time of the daily sacrifice be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up there shall be a thousand and two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and thirty five uh, and five and thirty days. But go thy way until the time of the end, for thou shalt rest and shall stand in thy lot at the end of days. Right. So that's what we got in. Uh, in this table, and by the way, I don't remember if I pointed out the word abortions is also in um, in this table about Biden. OK, uh, really quick. Let's go over to. Kamala as president. And look at this one. This is really interesting, you guys. This also has the word rapture a couple of times in here. 
we got it down at the bottom here with the word um, abortions. We also have the word rapture that goes across this uh, a vertical anomaly here, which is rapture. We've got the time of distress up at the top in the yellow, a time of distress. And in the other direction, we've got abortions that run right into it. Uh, Obama's name like this in the blue and in the brown going down is the eclipse. So the eclipse is very significant in um, Camilla as president. That's the access term, Camilla as president. And we've got a blood moon that crosses her term there. Biden is here a couple of times in the orange. You see it at a lateral this way, but also vertical. We also have the last name Harris in the pink there. We also have uh, um, in, excuse me, in Tav Shin Pei Bet, which is 2023, but we also have 2024. That That's also in this table. Um, the vertical anomaly here that's really interesting is um, the, cl uh, the, the cleaners will be imported. I don't know what that means. When, when do we need a cleaner? Remember that movie, um, Tarantino movie, Pulp Fiction, Mr. Wolf, the cleaner. What was he cleaning, right? Crime scene, right? Really interesting that that's in this table. Of the cleaner will be imported. Topping the very the, uh, at the top of Kamala as president in the Aleph of president, we have the word Abaddon, who, who is the son of perdition, strong connection to Obama. As you can see, the, both those terms are almost in the same skip pattern. There's just one is just cantered a little further than the other. And that's because it's one uh, number difference than the term Obama. They're virtually in the same skip pattern in this table, you guys. All right. <laughs> I think this is all of the ELS codes. We do have the United States um, in the blue vertical here, vertical, but also sharing sharing a letter lateral, this bet here. So it's there twice at a 90 degree angle. I want to read the white passage, you guys, and then we're going to wrap up this because I got a class that's going to start in very shortly. So let's go right here. I think you'll find this really interesting. This verse and chapter rarely comes up in an end times table, but it has in a couple, one of those being the COVID table. Let's go there. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 1. And the word came to Jeremiah saying, uh, from Yah saying, for thus the Adonai Elohim of Israel saying, write all these words that I've spoken to you in thee, to thee in the book. For lo, the days come, saith Yah that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah, two different ones, right? Saith Yah, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that Yah spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, for thus saith Yah, we have heard a voice of trembling and fear and of not of peace. And as uh, ask, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child, Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all the faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for it is a great day, so there's none like it. Even it is even a time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. And we got to keep that in mind. It, you know, Jacob's not being persecuted by the father. Otherwise, why would he save himself from himself or save him from himself, right? Jacob's, the people of Jacob's going to be per persecuted by the, the, the world, by the leaders of the world. And that's who he's saving them out of, out of that, right? It's called tribulation. Jacob's trouble is tribulation. So that is really interesting that this is in Kamala's table, you guys. Um, so that's where I am on this. It does appear that um, there's a high probability, it, you know, whether it's a short window or it goes into another term. It does appear that there's a high probability that she will become president. Now think about that. 
A lot of things have got to happen. Shenanigans. If we start seeing the shenanigans, you know that, that things are about to happen. But then again, before we get to that point, it could be handed off to her and, and they just do a Hail Mary, you know, for the election. They're going to do the shenanigans anyway. Why not just claim she had the whatever it took, the right stuff, right? So that's what I got for you guys. Um, shalom to you. May y'all bless you. Please share the video and help get this word out. I think these are very important tables for, you know, especially for the end time prophecy people that are uh, interested in these kind of things. Shalom to you. We'll see you in the next video.